Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to Synthetic. Today we're going to do a quick uh, run through. In the last video we talked about some of my first impressions of the game. Some of its strengths, some of its weaknesses. Uh, we didn't get to fully complete a run though. So that's what we're going to do today. I'll, th I'll keep things fairly standard. We'll go back to the classes menu. We are level 10 now, so we can manipulate the starting loadout so what does this do focus double kills reset recoil finish 10 ammo that's quite nice perfect active reloads grants one seismic resonator charge it's also pretty cool just keep it standard maybe actually you know, why not why not see what some of these other classes are so let's look at the assault grenadier what do we have here switching weapons grants four seconds of perfect movement stability and increased speed all right seems pretty cool <clears throat> Let's give this class a go. Frictionless boots, dashing direction to increase speed, getting hit increases the duration, passively increases movement speed. So this seems to be seems to be a movement speed class. Bundle grenade. Throws large bundle grenade, deals heavy explosive damage, grants brief movement speed increase. So everything's movement speed increase based. Tactical advance, engage an aggressive forward push, briefly stuns near units. For duration, perfect movement accuracy, greatly increases accuracy, increased dodge chance, refreshed on kills. So nice, and then your usual field supply, which gives your weapons explosive, explosive ammo. Commander performs a hit with the, performs a hit with a melee with a weapon stock, automatically strikes in melee range, deals damage and stuns. Okay, so close range. Reactive plating, continually recharge plating in combat. Plating now explodes in short range, briefly grants iron shield. Iron shields grant full damage immunity. And then we've got that elite movement. <clears throat> so it seems like a movement based class. Why not give it a go? It wants us to play with the P33 Spec Ops. I do like the heavy pistol, but you know, why not try something different? And I think we'll just jump right into it. Okay, so this is our this is our last save for when we did that run. Let's just give that a skip. And hmm, continue game with the current save. Oh, that's the level ten run that we're on now with the <clears throat> at the end of a, of the last video that we did. So let's jump in completely fresh run and just play around with some of the mechanics in this game in a new class. Okay, so here we are loaded in. The first thing we need to do is get into the settings and quickly change our keybinds. For some reason, the game doesn't save the keybinds. I don't know why. I'm sure it'll get fixed, but Wait, did we actually save that? Because we didn't, we didn't hit the confirm button, did we? Maybe that's why. <laughs> no. Looks like it's confirmed. Fine. Right, so we'll shoot these guys in the head. Just do that? Yeah it does, okay. So we got that we got that ability that, that hits things when we get close. Reload. So what does that do exactly? Gives you perfect okay, so Grace of push forward. Oh, this is the one that gives you dodge chance and increased accuracy. And the shift. Getting hit. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Get rid of some of these enemies here. These guys are the ones with the explosive rockets. Do you want to get hit by that? Okay. Gotta say, I do quite like the... The damage dealing capacity of some of the other classes. This one does seem to be more movement based, more more careful play. But I do like the like the fact that you can move quite quickly. There we go. So this this class does automatically hit when you get close. Ooh. So we have taken some damage there. Keep that guy in the head, and he's dead. 
do love this game's movement. Do do love the way it plays. Oh, I did take a bit of a hit there. That's fine. Ooh. Do we not hit these guys? How does the hit work? We have to recharge. Maybe. Do some explosive damage here. There we go. <coughs> So this is just a stun. This is just a dash. Okay, getting hit increases the duration. Right. Where are we headed? We look down here. Some more plating. <clears throat> okay, so that that's the ability that needs to go on cooldown, right? So what's that? Two seconds for it to recharge? I'm assuming that's what it means. <clears throat> like I said, the tooltips aren't all that great. Alright, that's another one of them dead. The group dead. This game is really going to be good once you get the AI to work properly. It's a pity that it's a bit dumbed down at the moment. Alright, let's reload. Take him out. Take that guy out. And we smash that with our hilt. How long does that take to reload? How many seconds is that? Ah, oh, it's back up now. Right. Got hit there again. Fortunate, but nothing, nothing really that bad. Okay. Wasting ammo left and right. Who cares? Got that really degenerative reloading habit from Call of Duty. Got to keep that weapon fully reloaded, no matter what the consequences are to ammo. But like I said, even doing that in this game doesn't really matter. You got so much ammo. Gonna hit him? You gonna hit him? You gonna hit him? You gonna hit him? Oh, okay. Right, we're getting attacked from the back here. Boss is really nice and mobile, which is uh, not something all classes are. Ooh, bad damage there. Right, no issue. I'm sure we'll find some healing. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing on the minimap. We can just keep searching. See some guys over there. Okay, smash it. Get a reload going there. Move in for the kill. There we go. And we had a weapon jam, but that's pretty quickly fixed by by mashing that reload, mashing the reload key. So that when you activate that that ability, you just you've got perfect perfect shooting ability. It really works quite well, actually. The frictionless boosts. No, actually, sorry, it's a tactical advance. And every kill refreshes the ability, which is quite nice. And I gotta say, the weapon is is very uh, very accurate. Not not a lot of damage, but it is very accurate. Smash him, he's down. Get our health back fully up, and we're in a good spot. <clears throat> Enough. Alright, and it looks like another area that's been cleared. Let's keep the good vibes rolling. Have we used this yet, this bundle grenade? Let's try that. Oh, that? <laughs> oh, I guess there's my damage skill. That does quite a bit of damage. Oh, what am I doing? Reload, let's get in here, smash that guy, kill him. Stuff. Are we still moving? Let's throw another grenade. Can we throw it? No, we can't. And throw that environment over there. Get some more kills. There we go. 
<coughs> I do like the mobility in this class. It's quite nice. It works quite well. Reload here. So we are taking a bit of damage there, unfortunately. Good thing that we've got a heal right over there. Throw another grenade. Okay. First weapon upgrades. Let's actually spend some of that now. Buy a few attachments. What have we got here? Weak point damage. Weapon heat by 10%. That sounds pretty good. I don't like the active reload ones because it's not that consistent. This one reduces our movement speed, but when we stand still, we reduce it. Uh, the deviation we increase damage and increase damage against armor <clears throat> don't like the idea of reducing movement speed do quite like the quick movement in the class let's keep the weak point damage here uh someone increases our magazine size which i think is seven at the moment is it let's see what the full that's 10 that should give us 13 in the magazine 10% chance for no ammo cost. I'd prefer the, the magazine magazine size increase. See how that works. Oop. Grenade. And smash him. Good stuff. So let's see what the reload looks like here. Yeah. yeah, up to 12. Nice. It looks like it rounds down. It rounds down on the extra bullets in the magazine. And we've increased the level. So that means the enemies are going to be a bit harder. Interesting, so it looks like I can actually miss I can actually miss the melee attack, which is quite interesting. I thought it was a surefire thing that it always hits, but it looks like you can actually miss the commando perk ability. Don't know if that's by design. <clears throat> right, any items that we missed, there does seem to be something on the lower left corner of this area. Make our way over there. Let's use our mobility, and there we go. Our first weapon crate. Good stuff. What are we getting? Nice! Assault rifle. Heavy assault rifle. That sounds interesting. Just missed that the last time we walked through it. As I said, it's so easy to miss items in this map, in this game. Get rid of them. Oh, I like this one. Good stuff. Bye. Another set of enemies gone. This one's got a huge clip size as well. It's quite a strong weapon. It's shoot. Yeah, it's also automatic if you want it to be. Here's our first item crate. What are we getting? Magic mag. Triggers when the class with the class core ability. Another interesting thing on that UI is that I don't know what the class core ability is. You have to kind of fiddle around and figure what that is. I think it's the right mouse button ability. So what does it do? It instantly reloads the current magazine, grants a brief fire rate increase, and does not reload ammo at zero. Okay, so let, let's try that. Let, let's do a little bit of science over here. What is the class core ability? So is it is it the shift? Doesn't seem to be. So that's, that looks like it's the mobility perk, right? Or the mobility ability. Uh, is it the bundle grenades? Doesn't look like it's that either. Is it the tactical advance? Doesn't look like it's that either. Fast core ability. And then, okay, maybe it's the field supply. Oh, so that's interesting. Fast core ability. What is that? What is my class core ability? That's interesting. Let's see. Do I have one? Is it switching weapons? I haven't really done that, have I? I haven't switched weapons much. Switching weapons? Doesn't look like it's that either. Hmm. That's interesting. It doesn't look like that works at all. Because feasibly it should have reloaded my heavy assault rifle and I've just gone through each and every one of my abilities. Unless the class core ability is something different. Which, I mean, I don't think it is, but I might be wrong. Huh. Okay. Well. <clears throat> like I said in the last video, there's a lot of bugs that need to be resolved. I think this is definitely one of them. It's not abundantly clear to me as to how to activate some of those things. I don't know what a core ability is versus what a... What a class ability is. They also talk about utility, class utility, whatever that is. 
there we've just seen none of the none of the items that we've used, none of the abilities that we use actually change anything, which is a bit disappointing. Throw this over there. Oh, got a dog here. Yeah? Oh. Okay, dog's dead. Lucky there. Okay, that thing's dead. Oh, it looked like it did reload there for a second, didn't it? Huh. Okay, auto taser. Love me one of those. That thing activates when something gets too close. Ooh. You die. Okay. Good stuff, good stuff. And that's why I like that ability. Is this not going to hit? When is it? <laughs> I have no idea why it didn't... Why my command ability didn't work there. Okay. Okay, let's get this reloaded. Get some of that nice, perfect reload. Ooh. Hello, doggy. Bye, doggy. Right. Another thing down. Reload that. Let's get a grenade out here. Didn't seem to do much damage there. That command ability doesn't seem to do all that much damage either. Nice. I really like that, um, that tactical. Oh. Okay. That didn't seem to do much damage. Right. That's dead as well. Man, these guys seem to be quite tanky. There we go. Wow. That thing was... That thing was mad murdering me, healing right through all the damage I was doing. These things are quite dangerous, so I want to make sure that I don't get hit. There we go. And it's down to... Oh, love that, love that movement speed. Keep the cycling. But I say, I, I don't know, I don't know what's activating and what's not. I don't know whether it's on cooldown now. I've got no indicator whether my, one of my class abilities is actually working here. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, you see, that enemy really needs to be reacting more to me being there. It's interesting that I just sat there and, and took the bullets to the face. And the dog's down. Thanks to the taser. Massive, massive pickup damage boost. Looks like when I pick up items, I get a damage boost as well. Right, let's get rid of these guys across. Where? Are you not going to dance there, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> No idea what to do. Let's reload. Throw a grenade there. That should be. Oh, I was gonna say that should be enough. It doesn't look like it was. There we go. Hide it and dealt with. Good stuff. <clears throat> it really just shouldn't be standing there and taking all that damage. Oh. Again, looks like I missed the attack there. Interesting. No, no. With that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get a couple more weapon upgrades. I do quite like this uh, this this heavy assault rifle. So let's get something attached to that one. It's quite expensive on the attachments, but let's go for it. Reward system. This gives you healing every tenth time you hit a weak spot. But he puts five percent chance on a weak point hit to regain one ammo into the magazine. That's quite nice. And then this increases movement speed, increases weapons cooling. I do like the, the increased movement speed. I gotta say. Go with that. Again, I have no idea whether any of these perks actually work. <clears throat> but I've got to take it on faith that it's doing what it's telling me. There's no indicator on the screen again to tell me that 
any of the stuff's actually working. Got a dog over there. Let's get rid of it. There we go. This thing's just going to stand there. It'd be silly. That's fine. Each of these maps has like this kind of hidden area. I don't know how we activate that. You can see there's an item up there and there's a, there's a teleport pad down here, but I have no idea how to activate the item. So I guess we're a bit stuck here. This guy's not gonna shoot me back? No? Okay. Get a power array. I like me a power array. That works well. Ooh. Okay. Let's make a run through. Ooh. Alright. Run's going pretty well so far. So we know that can change quite quickly. I've got to say, I am digging this mobility base class, although I do feel like the damage output is a bit to be lacking at the moment. <clears throat> so a grenade over here. Let's rid of all of them. Yeah, it's dead as well. I forgot these things do damage if you stand on them. Not too much, but can accumulate if you're not realizing that you're standing in the damage. So here's the first upgrade. <clears throat> so what should we upgrade? The bundle of grenade. Maybe get the bundle grenade on a lower cooldown. That, that would be great if we can do that. So, variant overdrive increases ammo gain and variant power. Activates with class specialization usage. Again, have no idea what that means. What is the class specialization usage? There's an icon there that's meant to be familiar to me, but I, I honestly have no idea. Composite gold maker increases currency gain, increases damage against armor. Activates with class specialization usage. Again, what is the class specialization? Oh well. Composite reinforcer increases buff duration and scaling, activates with class specialization. So what is the class specialization? Is that the class specialization? Interesting. <clears throat> well, let's go with the damage against armor. Oh. All right. Took some damage there. I'm not happy with that, but goodbye. Okay. We. Is that another one? Did we just miss that? Oh, that's another upgrade station that we missed. First kill this guy before it gets too annoying. There we go. So what are we getting? Is this a new item? So this is an item shop. Next hit fires a concussive shot, requires close range, slows and knocks targets back, and active reloading recharges the shot. Alright. Shock net immobilizes. I do quite like that. Let's go with the shock net. Pick up weapon parts. Load our gun. It's an easy upgrade for the for the P33, so why not? Very cheap. This one's based on fire rate. Skip that. This one's based on fire rate on sh when shields are up, and this one is increased ammo efficiency. Whatever that means, I don't know what ammo efficiency is. But I guess. Fire rate, burst fire delay. Ah, uh, why not? We don't know what it means. We don't know what we use it for. So let's just let's just use it and see how it works out. All right, so that's dead. Oh. That was a close one. Had no idea it was there. Why are those things so tanky? Holy moly! That thing wants to die here. Dogs there? Can we shoot the? Okay, so this weapon crate's a dangerous one. If we hit this weapon crate, it's going to end up summoning a bunch of guys that are quite literally going to wreck me if I stick around. So this is always a bit of a risk. We're going to do it anyway, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. These guys are not playing around. Man, these guys do not joke. They just teleport right next to you. 
Okay. Didn't took too much damage, luckily, but we were quite close to getting pistol whipped over there. What did we get, by the way? Okay, we got a DMR. Nice. Nice long range weapon. That will work. And there's another weapon crate over here. Let's try using this now. Great. Looks like it's got increased head headshot damage, that's what I'm assuming. So what are we going to replace here? Tokyo Fusion Carbine. Strong against shields, easy to control. Uh, I do quite like the DMR though. We did we did we did just upgrade the heavy assault rifle. You know what, let's just go with the Tokyo with the Tokyo Fusion Carbine. Okay. Thing's just gonna stand around getting shot. I'm gonna walk right up to it and punch it in the face. There we go. Okay, so that's the map. There's another enemy here doing god knows what. AI needs work. AI needs work. Fire flow. Mix AI. <laughs> There's another guy up here. He is just gonna stick around. I'll pelt him with bullets and he's dead as well. Okay. I think I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go for the, for the DMR. Yeah. That seems to be the right the right choice here. So that's the second area done. Is there anything we're missing? There is just that one item that we're missing, which I've already said is quite difficult to get because it's... it's you somehow act have to activate that teleporter pad, which you don't know how to do. I suppose we should try use our, our cooldowns a bit more efficiently as well. It is hard to do with a new class when you're not exactly sure how to play it. All right, what have we got here? Dogs here? Right, took some damage. I didn't even see them coming. I'll be honest. Do we have any enemies here? We do. One down. Two down. Right. Reload here. Nice. Throw a nade down there. Alright, is it gonna die? It is now. Another item here, which is always good. Lightning boots, mobility ability mobility ability sap near enemies what else does it do deal shock lightning damage passively increases speed okay i do like the passive speed increase we do we do feel quite quick on the movement now pick up another plate over there okay oh movement speed is really great feels really good let's keep that crate over there just in case we run out of health throw another grenade here Nice. Oh my word, how many times have I missed that thing? Okay. Gonna reload here. Okay, so that doesn't seem to do a lot of headshot damage. Where's the health on this thing? Ooh, it was dead. This thing seems to do a ton of headshot damage, which is great. Die. Thank you. Does the most damage to this? Oh wow! <laughs> what was that? That was my auto taser. Quite nice. Okay. What do we have here? Another enemy hiding. These things are pretty useless as well. They're meant to just be something that shocks you into place and you can't move, but they they, they really end up getting to you on time. Man, this guy is tanky. Dead. Okay. Another weapon crate. Headshot damage here. Go, that's dead. Nice satisfying headshot sound. Okay, so another weapons crate. Right. What are we getting here? What does that look like? Uh, 
Industrial breaching cutter. High damage, limited range, and long reload. Ooh. Looks interesting. Looks like a high damage weapon for a boss. Not a big fan. Uh, I'll stick with the tried and tested DMR here. Even though it might not be the right choice. Do a, a few more weapon upgrades over here. So how does the DMR is 225 to upgrade. Right. Movement speed. Health is full critical damage. I like that one. That, that should be good. Like I said in my last video, it's not that hard to keep high health in this game. If you're, if you're just careful about how you approach it. Healing here. Or oh, some ammo, should I say. Yeah. Leveled up the weapon. Nice. Again, not sure what that does. Okay. Another one down. Ooh. Where I have all these guys come from? Have I run into a whole new area that I wasn't aware of? Come at me, guys. There we go. That's all of them down. No health lost. Pretty good. Weird how I ended up tricking a whole bunch of guys. Did I just miss them? Okay, good stuff. Let's keep the weapons flipped and switching. Nice. There's another upgrade station here. What do we have down here? Get rid of that with an explosive. Oh, more weapon upgrades I like. It's not doing anything impressive. Dog down there. Dead. Down, doggy, down. Alright, that doesn't seem to be too effective. Maybe it's just the high ammo. There we go. High ammo, high armor. I mean, enemy seems to be armored, so certain types of damage, like maybe explosive, doesn't do too much. Got a secondary auto taser, which is nice. And we have our ability upgrade. Oh. Came out of nowhere. Okay, so. Do we want to increase the. What do we want to increase here? Yeah. Maybe the frictionless boots? Okay, so class mobility gives me a bit of invulnerability, which I think is good. This gives me increased damage for three seconds, also good. And this stuns enemies in an area. I'll take the damage. Thank you. But remember to use that before I run into a fight now. It's quite a quick cooldown ability, so it shouldn't be that bad. Oh. Oh, I just reloaded a full magazine there. Let's get rid of all the ammo. And again, you guys can see that there's no... <clears throat> there just doesn't seem to be any impact to... to being quite liberal with wasting your ammo. You, you would think there would be, but there isn't. So, I guess from a game design perspective, that's again why I go back to why I think that that the um, active reload mechanism isn't all that isn't all that useful in the game. Like, where did this thing come from? <laughs> it's amazing how sneaky they are. Sit passively and do nothing until they attack you. Here's another upgrade station here. Right. What is this one? A black market. Iced equipment. Unknown contents, fingerprints have been removed, grants a random black market item. Okay. Got Russian roulette. Five out of six chance to increase pickup strength and scavenging, whereas we can take 2,000 damage and permanently reduce max health. That's a one in six chance. I think we'll go with that one. Russian roulette. Yeah. Looks like we didn't get the 
permanent health debuff, which is good, which means we got one of the five out of six, so we should get an increased scavenging bonus now. Wow, whoa, what happened there? I thought I died. <laughs> Interesting. What the hell was that? That's a pretty cool hit. I literally thought my my get my player character had exploded there. Alright. Good to have those tasers, I guess. Super useful when you're in a pinch. Okay. <clears throat> this should take us to the first boss. What is that? Damage boost. Did I hear something shooting at me? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Did I miss an upgrade? Where is that? I think I missed a box somewhere further down. That must have been the health box. That's well, not a bad idea to get it now. Get ourselves back up to full. Yeah, this will be the... Yeah. Okay, so it's a utility charge. They should really rename or rename or re re um reskin the boxes that are meant to be for utility. I don't know if it's meant to be a random chance whether you get a healing or utility. Um but it seemed like in that case it gave me utility. If if it's by game design for it to be random, fine. But that maybe it's just better to separate out the crates. We've got a little bot over there saying that I shall not pass. Of that it feels like the, the dmr is the the best place we to do damage at least to headshots <clears throat> hey. go another level up on the weapon nice get that reloaded get that reloaded right okay Blood donation, plus 1,500 health, increases experience gain, and 150 upgrade parts. Passively increases max health when low in health, increases already existing armor. Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I want to take a 1,500 health hit right now, because we are about to go into a boss battle, so that might not, that might not be the smartest idea. interesting it feels like i don't have as much movement speed now with the, the frictionist boost do i hmm. feels like it's a bit slower than it was before maybe it's because our passive movement speed is quite fast at the moment okay <clears throat> let's let's do the max health one right so this should be the first boss battle wish me luck Go. I think if you get hit by that once, you're dead. So you, what you want to try and do is not get hit there. Okay, it's coming back through this way. Ooh, took the damage there. Hmm, don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it. Um, out of bullet. Oh! Shit! Move, 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 move. Okay. Oh, coming back. Is it? There we go. More damage. Get the DMR out. the hell out of the way this should be it there we go first boss down <clears throat> okay let's pick up some plating we're quite lucky not to get obliterated there but when it was doing its uh spinning spinning thing 
There we go. And then I think every boss at the end of every run, or at least at the end of every level, drops one of these, which I think is just an upgrade to like a really strong perk. Let's see what we get here. Kernel of Greater Essence strongly reduced the cooldown of the class core ability. Okay. <laughs> uh, so here we go again, guys. What is the class core ability? Am I just am I just being thick here? What is the class core ability? You'd think that in one of the three screens that you've got over here, they would have thought of a way to give you a clearer understanding of what the class core ability is. As it stands, unfortunately, I don't have any idea. I uh, wonder what that minus 67 is up there. Is that the damage? <laughs> the health of the boss. Health of the boss officially minus 67, guys. That's how badly we obliterated him. <clears throat> okay. Now we in the second area and you'll see a completely different map. This looks quite nice. Got this whole little circuit board thing going, I like it. This is all getting a little bit hot. Oh. Get out of here. Run, 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 run. And this is a lethal combination of foes. And this is what I said. This is how you typically die in this game. Is you just get overwhelmed. Like we were almost, almost overwhelmed there at the start. Get this all reloaded. Man, those guys do damage and a half. Holy moly. Those two shots to take my shields off. And now I'm not doing any damage at a distance with this weapon. Maybe it's just the range. There we go. That's down. Thankfully, survived that. Uh, what am I looking for here? Maybe we should get a couple more upgrades going. Can we upgrade this? Find attachment here. Increases recoil, increases fire rate, increases critical chance, increases movement accuracy. Increases movement accuracy, increases critical chance. Hmm. Projectile firing item. That won't work there. On hitting an enemy decreases recoil. I'll just take the the movement accuracy and critical chance buff to be honest. It means that we're gonna reset the boss back. Okay. <clears throat> I'm getting the feeling that the enemies are becoming quite bullet spongy. And since this class doesn't seem to do a heck of a lot of damage, we are running into some damage problems here. We've got a dog coming. Coming, doggo. Oh, look at him. Look at this little pro. Look at him peeking me. <laughs> oh, that dog. That dog's a pro. Corner peeks all day. There we go. Get another item here. Shock lightning shield, plating pickup activates lightning shield, continually deals shock lightning damage, purges off some negative effects. That sounds good. We'll keep that. We're getting close to our eight item max over here. Get this redone. Uh, what do we want to do here? All right, that'll be good. Upgrade point here. I do quite like the design of this this map. It's quite nice. Another one over here as well. So what is this one? This is this just another item, or is this an a buff to an item? I think it's a buff to an item. Okay, let us. We're we gonna what are we gonna bet over here? Lightning boots. I mean, why not? I do like the shock lightning. Haze is good as well. Just throw it onto the shock net. Actually, let's just throw it onto the one of the auto tasers. I don't know which one's the first one. Okay, so we've got to remember that. That's the first one. We can get rid of the second one. Let's upgrade the first. 
Power randomizer upgrades a selected item with one of multiple outcomes, either reduces outcome power by 50, increases by 50, or 100, or 200, and the fifth one is unknown. Selected item 40% increased buffs, positive status effects. Only applies buffs appear in the buff bar. Okay. Increases maximum stacks of a selected item by 30% if existing, and increases item base power by 50. I wonder if that's a stack that we've got on the auto taser. Let's use it. All in the name of science, right? Thing looked alive. Obviously not. So how do we get in here? Is that a room door down there? Yeah, an entry point in here. Guess there must be a way you can open that. Wait, let's see. If, is it based on this? Can we do it here? Yes, we can. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how you unlock those areas. Tier 5 insurance upon taking 1000 health damage reimburses credits based on interest. I guess this is some sort of an investment scheme. Clips of superoids. Fill, get your new fix today. Passively increases max health. When low on health, increases existing arm. I think I've got this already. And this one costs 1,500 health, increases experience, and upgrade parts. Let's go for that. It takes some damage now, and we can get that replaced afterwards. Are we missing anything here? No, it doesn't look like. Map's not telling us anything, so let's move on. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, lots of dead enemies. Reload. Hey. Okay. These guys are quite safe to kill with normal weaponry. Mm hmm. That on. Oh, I got immobilized. Dead. Got some backstab damage there. That's good. Look at that dog. Holy moly. Did you see that? Sneaky bugger. Keep the weapon switches going. I don't think we're making enough use of our tactical advance. We should just stun enemies. It's a good way to get out of trouble. Good stuff. Nice. This weapon's doing some serious damage now. There we go. Okay. I think we're set here. We can move to the next area. See if anyone else has dropped anything. As I said, pickup's quite hard to see in this game. Definitely be an easy way to improve the visibility of those items and include a little bit of a pickup range. As I said in my previous video. Ah, let's reset over here. Waste some bullets and reload. Do the same here. Right, what have we got here? Right. Another dead enemy. Oop. One of those dangerous guys. Good stuff. <laughs> Things refuse us to die. There we go. And we're back at full health. <clears throat> Got another upgrade station here, which is great. Hero level 3. Another upgrade kit, nice. Alright. 
fully stocked up on reloads. Okay, so what do we have here? Gambler's Den. Increases weapon attachment power. That's quite nice. Passive ape. Passive ape ball. Magic ape ball. Passively increases crit chance. The ape ball will answer your question. Okay. On slight passive lifesteal. Don't know how, how helpful that is. I do like continuing down the path of critical hit chance, so let's do that. And I bet you the eight ball will have something to say. Is your refrigerator running? Yes, it is, sir. Checked it this morning. We're all good. <clears throat> okay, so there's an area down at the bottom here which we should go and explore. What, what did I just kill? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've got a healing one over here. Got to remember that. Don't need to take it right now. <clears throat> oh, that thing's dealing damage. Man, that thing does some serious damage. Play footsie with this guy. There we go. Back to full health. Good stuff. I don't know if we were ever beneath full health. We're quite close to get chunked into our health by some of those elite minions a bit earlier. Shot there. Okay. <clears throat> so far, so good. <clears throat> More weapon parts there. Pick that up. Got plating already, I think. Some more enemies down there, and I think that's an item box, is it? Yes, it is. Nice. What are we getting next? Another power array. So we have a couple of things that we can end up getting rid of. I think we can. I think we're going to end up dropping one of the auto tasers. I think. So how would we do that? I know that if you pick up items when there's already an item that you have, you lose the upgrade. Or you don't you don't pick up an item if you've got a full set of slots. So let's just get rid of the auto taser there. Yeah, so what does that give me? 60. Okay. Fine. Keep cycling through weapons so we can keep getting buffs to our movement speed. I don't know if that's a cooldown based ability, but again, it doesn't really show you all that much with the buffs. Okay, we've got a dog here. Gotta be careful with this guy. Ooh, that was a close one. That could have been deadly. If that thing's if that thing stopped me and that guy got his shots in, we, we were in deep trouble there. Oops. Damn, that thing does damage. Waiting for him to reload. Shoot him in the face. Another weapon crate. What are we getting here? Lightning. Shock lightning. Shock and electric shells. High damage output. What does it say? High dam low range and ammunition reserves. Okay, so high damage weapon. Bit of a panic gun. I think we can work with that. Let's uh, let's play with a shotgun. Okay. More guys take out here. We can probably go for the last upgrade on the pistol. <clears throat> what do you have here? Bigger magazine size. Ooh. 
didn't even know that guy was there. Uh oh. Stuff. Okay. So. Critical chance, 25% chance on critical hits, increased luck by 1%, stacks up 100 times. Changes the weapon to a rapid fire twin burst. Increases magazine size. We've already got one increased magazine size. Let's take the lucky dangle here. Oh, that's a shotgun, so it reloads differently. Quite nice. Okay. Uh oh. <clears throat> Only thing that looks like we can left pick up over here is the health. Oh no, that's a weapon drop up there. Was that a health drop? That's the health drop in the other area. Okay, so we still have that health drop to go back to if we need to. The little sneaky guy in the corner here. Again, <laughs> obscures item pickups. Uh, let's uh, let's increase our of our of our DMR. <clears throat> critical hit by ten percent, heat by ten percent. Let's keep going down the critical hit chance. I like that. Okay, let's see how that works for us. Yeah. There we go. Worked pretty well getting quite hammered by these guys whenever they get shots into us okay I think that's the level move on to the next one hopefully reloaded <clears throat> Again, like I said before, the the visuals on the maps are really great. They do such a good job with that. I wonder what that was. They do such a great job with that, but they just utterly fail in making the encounters more interesting. Oh. Man. Okay, I see what that is. These guys with the canisters. Okay, let's try not aggro too many enemies here. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, that was dangerous there for a while. Okay. Got a melee guy up there. Got to remember that we've got a shotgun here. There we go. Use our pistol for these, because they're fairly... Fairly weak. Ah, got rid of him. I'm really not using my abilities enough here, I think. I've been so focused on the running and gunning, which is so satisfying that I've completely forgotten about um, using my abilities more regularly. Definitely something to get used to. I keep wasting my time. Wasting my time. I keep wasting my um, shotgun shots. But I remember that I can't just flip to that weapon. So what is it? It's pistol. Okay, I gotta move down for the DMR. Get my way from rotation. Gotta remember that. Okay. Oh, I wonder, can I throw a grenade down here? Oh, okay, never mind. Doesn't seem to work. <clears throat> nice We're doing some decent damage looks like we fully upgraded our uh, pistol i don't think you can upgrade it further than this level can you no looks like it's fully upgraded that looks like it's begging for a grenade Man, he did a chunk of damage there. there we go. 
Okay, another one of these annoyance guys. Okay, we take a bit of damage. It looks like that, like that smoke flower just does some damage over time. Okay, how are we looking? I think we're looking good. Okay, we've got to be careful going down there because that guy's going to attack us the moment we step off that pad. Okay, go that way. Go hard up once we land. Oh, no, 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 no. Holy shit, that was a lethal combination. Quite lucky to have survived that, actually. Right. More weapon upgrade parts. How sneaky these bastards are hiding hiding in plain sight. Look at them. Look at them. Get our DMR out. Couple of shots. Nice. Okay, back to full health. Get that unjammed. How are we looking? I think we've skipped a whole bunch of upgrades this way. Go back the way we came. Put enough weapon parts for another upgrade. So let's apply that to our shock lightning. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe we maybe we don't do that and we see if we get a better weapon in the third slot. Keep going with the DMR though. I do quite like it. Above 80 heat percent heat, vent and reduce weapon heat by 50. On 10% chance of no ammo cost. Ammo regeneration triggers when shields are down. Again, not completely within my control. I don't think that is going to help all that much. Just take the 10% chance, even though it doesn't feel that impactful. I'll go back up. There we go. Wait for that flower to go away. Oh. Where is he? There we go. Headshot. <clears throat> Alright, chance to improve the weapon. Let's see what we get from the slot. Oh, don't don't know if I like the grenade launcher all that much. I'll keep the shock. The shot lightning gun. Okay, so weapon upgrade, first optimization, or merchant skill. Let's take uh, let's take the weapon upgrade onto the DMR. Seems like a good idea. There we go. There we go. Throw a grenade there. Oh, taking the damage there, unfortunately, because I stayed. Good idea. Take their own damage as well. It's quite interesting. Is that an elite? I think that's an elite. Nice. I don't know if that was an elite by the way he was glowing. I'm assuming it was, and that's why I got the weapon parts. Okay. What are we boosting here? We've got enough money for it. So let's go for a boost on the shock net. Double activation. Not to have a charge cost and activation, that's quite nice. 25% chance to not consume its cooldown and activation. The charge cost? What does that even mean? Hmm. I'll take the activating twice. <clears throat> okay, looks like we've got another item on top over here. There we go. Shock. Shock shotgun doing work. Got a grenade over there. Come on. There we go. 
Another item. We can afford it. Auto taser. Another auto taser. Fortunately. Tinkerer shop. Healing gain. Regeneration by 20%. I'm going to I'm gonna take the plating. Decrease all item cooldowns by 10%. That's pretty decent as well. <clears throat> I'm going to take the plating. Two plates is always better than one. Means I can, I can soak in two more shots before my health starts getting chunked. That feels like a decent... Upgrade. Okay. We have no ammo. And there we go. Oh, water turret. That's down. Oh, I thought we would have gotten a second plate there. Isn't that all we were meant to get? That's odd. Can we get no more perks? Is that the full list of perks? Because it kind of stopped with the weapons upgrade. Oh, okay. Okay, so where are we now? Seems like we're missing an item at the bottom. Let's go see what that is. There it is. Oh, okay, it's one of the... So these boxes give you a curse. So you, you open it up, you get a curse, and you get a weapon along with it. Let's see what it is. Dual wield shotgun revolver. Nice. You know what? We'll keep that one. How does that work? Okay. That looks pretty cool. Let's do that. What's my curse? Effective with machine curse reduces healing by 25%. Shield, shield uh, delay by 50. Cleanse by reaching the kill requirement. Which is, I'm not sure what. Boy oh boy, they need to do a lot of work on the on the UI. And just helping you understand the various things that are happening. Like, what is the kill count? Doesn't tell you, does it? That's gonna kill them by himself. <laughs> Gotta love an enemy that kills... That kills his buddies for you. Nice shot. There go. And I think we're pretty clean to go forward now. Oh. Uh... Man, that is incredible damage. Man, a lucky there. Very, very lucky there that I didn't get my ass handed to me. That guy shooting at me. One more. Okay, third level four. Okay, this is what we got to on the other side. That thing looks dangerous. Can I shoot it? Yeah, I can. Okay. <clears throat> I'm assuming this takes me down there. Yeah, it does. Okay, where does this take me? Right, here's the exit. I could nade over there. Does that give us enough for another upgrade? It does. It does look like that. Uh, how much does this cost? I think we've upgraded everything else. Yep. I'm only upgrading new weapon now. So, ammo efficiency 40%, fire rate by 100. I think we just use ammo efficiency, whatever the hell that means. Get more ammo efficiency, it sounds good. That take us. Uh, 
That is risky way to enter. <laughs> Lucky I didn't get wasted there. Like I said, the, the way you the way you get wasted in this game is just getting overwhelmed. I mean, if if you're not if you're not going to be in a position where you got too many enemies to deal with, you're fairly safe actually. Okay, we're good here. Get out of here. Still doesn't look like we've hit the kill counter for that curse to go away. Okay. How do we do this? I wanna scroll down. Okay, looks like we have to unlock the exit here in the middle. And you do that by activating the pylons in the different corners of the map. Let's go around and clear the area around us. Right, ability upgrades. Nice. Man, we are not using these well enough. Take another one for the bundle grenade. Damage against armor. Shoots nearest enemy with homing ammo. Activates with fast specialization usage. Currency game thing. Let's do a second one of that. I don't know whether that replaces the previous one that we had. And I'm I'm very skeptical of stepping on one of these pads. Get this out and have it ready just in case. Okay, looks like we're okay here. You need to be careful because there's enemies everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. There's yeah, space we can go. Even that thing's over there. Oh, okay. <laughs> You can beam me down, Scotty. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, shit. We have got... We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Get the hell out of here. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get out of here. And those guys do not make... Oh, my word. Those are the shotgunners. Look at that. Health shredded completely. Yeah, the shotgun, the shotgun guys are no joke. I mean, they have ended my run pretty quickly when I've been unlucky to to jump jump straight into them. Okay, where do we have them here again? Okay, we got. Okay, it doesn't look like we got shotgun guys here, thankfully. So maybe it's just quite clear off. Oh, so these guys, guys, teleport. Man, that's scary. Teleporting melee. Oh my word, game. Are you gonna give me like a bit of a heads up? Jeez. This is not looking not looking promising. Oh there is a health kit there. I don't get smacked around by hidden enemies. Okay, that's helpful. That's really good. This guy's pretty pretty benign. Okay, right, more healing will always go down well. Okay, this is the famous shotgunners. Oh, okay. Inventory's full. Can we pick that up again if we drop something? Let's try to drop the... Let's drop the, the second auto taser. Should we take the second power array? I'll take the second power array out. Get rid of that. Does that mean we can pick it up? Yes, we can. DMR sentry turret. Oh man, that thing is a bit... I've played with that thing before. It, well, it did feel a little bit useless. It does take some aggro away, which is good, but... And feel altogether impactful. Okay, we good here. Let's get that health. Oh, thank the Lord we needed that one. Another item shop. We can get rid of some of the stuff here. We got.
Guys, make this thing activatable by pressing E. Make it annoying, please. <laughs> you saw there I was trying to shoot someone. You can't actually shoot. I was aiming. I'm trying to shoot here. I can't shoot. I can't shoot. And I can shoot now. Oh, that's so funny. I mean, it's all fun in games until you lose a run because of it, right? Okay, I like the I like the quick draw one. Uh, what do we get rid of here? I'll get rid of the DMR sentry turret. That thing felt that thing didn't feel all that impactful. I just quick draw was good. I like that one. Man, is this a... I think this is a... Oh, I was going to say, I think that's an elite. <laughs> well, there we go. First run's done. Not a bad result. We got quite deep into it as well. Now you can see a little bit of the scaling of the game and, and how the difficulty increases as you continue progressing through. It is interesting because... Um, I think that the way in which you succeed at this game is just by keeping things at a distance. So maybe some of the best classes are the ones with mobility, and maybe we'll give that a go. I know one of the classes got a blink ability, like a double blink. That's exactly the type of skill that looks like it's useful in a scenario like that where you get stuck. Uh, or anything that can do like immense burst damage. Like if we had the Grenadier class, maybe, maybe the, the explosion charge that it does at the end of its run would have been enough to clear some of those enemies that were chasing us. But unfortunately there we just got wrecked. So what do we have? We've got one, we've got 75 data that we picked up. All right, that's it. Tells us our gear, how we're doing with all the weapons, our stats, which does appear to show the pickup of that ninth perk that we had, even though that wasn't activating, the double, the double plating wasn't activating, and it just gives us some of our kills, damage, weak point hits, and accuracy. Pretty cool, no? Well, go back to the main menu and i think that's a it's a good place to end it so now you have a really good feeling uh of the game uh i did the i did the video yesterday explaining how my thoughts on the game and i think we'll definitely be playing this more through early access and as more content drops um and there you got a sense of how the scaling works so like i said it it, it is you do die very quickly um and it does happen all of a sudden right it's not like you get not you can tank a heck of a lot of damage in this game, which makes me think that that you got to play a, a very, very carefully. And again, to the point around tactics, when you have enemies that charge you with a shotgun, and you have various abilities that might stop them, like you know, like the shock taser is a good example of something that might help you in that scenario, or maybe some of the abilities that can kind of stun. Fine, but there's not a lot of outplay to an enemy that's just equally as fast to you running running at you, right? And that was that's what happened in that first area on that final stage where we got stuck on the portal and we just had 30 guys charging us with shotguns and each of them chunking a piece of your health. You don't have much of a of a reply to that, do you? So I hope the AI improves a bit and there's a, a little bit less of the kind of dash you down and burst you with shotgun shots and the way that you die in that sense um hopefully there'll be more tactics employed by the enemy and not just like face rushing like they do now but we'll see how it develops i mean that was a fun run i'm glad you got to see more of it and thank you for catching this video um i'm going to be quite busy next couple of days with work so what i might do is just a couple of videos doing runs on other roguelites so i might i might go out with a hades run i might do another run of this game i might do another run of um of cold canyon um and then what you can expect this weekend most likely is going to be um some of the darkest dungeon content i've been promising you i think we'll focus in quite a lot on darkest dungeon i've enjoyed that quite a bit have some thoughts around the game so i might do a first impressions video followed by a a couple of runs in darkest dungeon let me know what you think please do leave a like if you like the content if you don't leave a dislike let me know what i can improve upon um as always would be very appreciative of your sub but only if you feel like i provide quality content um 
And yeah, I've been Flash Hazardous. This has been a run of Synthetic 2. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you soon for the next run.